The green iguana is an invasive species that has devastated Taiwanese crops since it was introduced. The one master hunter from Hualien's Jian Township is leading a team to bring them under control. Yang Guangfu, chief of an army's village, has found the perfect use for, uh, uh, for his mastery of the art of slingshot. A bottle of water is blown off its pedestal. This man could hit a bullseye blindfolded. Yang Guangfu is the chief of an armist village in Hualien's Jian Township. For the last six months, he's devoted himself to the Slingshot Brigade, a group of local hunters ridding the community of the scourge of invasive green iguana. <laughs> Green iguanas are agile and aggressive creatures who like to live near rivers. They're vigilant and flee at the slightest alarm. Young creeps up on them very gingerly before striking as soon as they're within range. He never misses. The iguanas are knocked out and later awaken, trussed up. You have to hit them on the head with a steel ball to knock them out. Generally, we capture them with a rope and a lasso and pull them in. For many indigenous Taiwanese, knocking some prey unconscious is a standard hunting technique. Animals killed outright might start to decay while they're carried back to the village, but not animals bound up. That makes the slingshot an invaluable weapon, and Young is the best slingshot master in his tribe, with certification from an international slingshot association. I was promoting the art of the slingshot, and somehow or other I got into hunting iguanas. To have developed this out of our slingshot arts is really a very good, very healthy activity. Every year we get two or three random individuals. There are no wild colonies, so for now there are no schemes to reward their removal. Although the brigade do their work for free, they get the satisfaction of helping the community and honing the traditional skills passed down from their ancestors.